We really have a laundry list of treatment options in patients who have been previously treated uh, for CLL. And I think this is a good problem to have. Uh, obviously, it's nice to have more options for our patients. But in this patient who is not terribly old but has significant comorbidities, uh, I, think it's, I think it's important to really take into consideration what the patient has previously been treated with, um, the poor, um, what poor prognostic markers uh, he's displaying, what are the goals of treatment. So I really think this is where the art of oncology comes in, trying to figure out what's best from that laundry list. Uh, and, and for this particular patient, um, noting his comorbidities, his mild COPD I think is very important a time to progression of only a year after first line chemoimmunotherapy is important. So I'm thinking in, in this particular patient, um, we really do need to get good disease control. We need to use a strategy that's probably separate from our typical chemoimmunotherapy options. You know, I'm not thinking of curing such a patient with an allogeneic stem cell transplant. I worry that we would take too many risks in such a strategy. So for this particular patient, I'm really thinking of the B-cell uh, B cell receptor signaling agents, uh, notably abrutinib. Idelisabrituxanab is another good option for this patient. I'm really thinking of clinical trials for such a patient, and I think some of the investigational agents, such as the BCL2 inhibitor venetoclax, is, that's a very important option as well as other novel agents. Um, I really think those, that would be my line of thinking for treating such a patient.